the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is looking incredible and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So today we've got incredible news about the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 3. We've got news that it's the first in-display camera from Samsung, the first folding phone to feature the S Pen and a new LED hinge for notifications. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of Samsung and let me know in the comments what device you're watching this video on. So it seems that Samsung have truly changed their marketing strategy and while many thought that the folding devices would fail, they're now being pushed as the most premium flagships in the range. The folding phones now outshine the S and the Note in specs and price and the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is no different. The first story of the day is about a new LED notification light that could be present on the hinge of the Galaxy Z Fold 3. A patent was discovered by Let's Go Digital that shows a new LED strip running down the back of the Z Fold 3's hinge and this provides alerts for calls and messages. Let's Go Digital have also created some 3D renders to show us exactly what we can expect from this design and as you can see it looks great. According to the patent, this LED strip is going to be covered by a translucent cover for protection and the LED strip is going to be individually addressable, meaning different parts can display different colors and this will offer a wide range of choices and effects. The Fold already has the front display for notifications, but an LED strip on the back is going to draw very little power and it will be a welcomed addition. Next we've got news of the first in-display selfie camera from Samsung and this is expected to be in the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Multiple reports have suggested low production in the display camera tech and this is because it's not going to be present on the S21 and it's hopefully going to be making its debut on the Z Fold 3 where limited units are produced. We know that Samsung have been working on this for some time and it's just not ready for the next S model but with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 set to launch in the second half of next year then it seems a reasonable timescale to perfect. Next up, we've got the news that, that everyone wants to hear and that is of course S Pen support for the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now it's looking hopeful but it's important to remember that this rumor comes around every year with the Fold devices and it of course has not happened yet. There are two reasons why it hasn't happened so far and number one is that the display was not durable enough for the S Pen and secondly the magnets used in the Fold actually interfere with the electromagnetic resonance or EMR technology that the S Pen currently uses. A new report from the Elect states that Samsung are going to be increasing the thickness of the ultra thin glass for the Galaxy Fold 3 and this is going to make it more durable for the users. It's currently 30 micrometers thick and Samsung are reportedly going to be doubling this to 60 micrometers and this will withstand more pressure and of course accommodate an S Pen. We also have news that the S Pen is going to be changing in the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and it's now going to be using an active electrostatic solution that doesn't get interference from the magnets in the case. Experts say there isn't going to be much difference between these two technologies but the EMR is actually cheaper to manufacture and one of the reasons that Samsung have used this so far. It's going to be interesting to see if this change in technology also follows down to the Note range as while it's not too much of an issue for the Note, some magnetic cases have been problematic for users. The device is expected to launch in August but things have changed a lot for many smartphone manufacturers so I wouldn't be surprised if we do see another change from Samsung here. Of course we do have an idea of the rest of the specs so we're going to run through them now for those of you that are interested. So the Galaxy Fold 3 is still in very early stages but we can get an idea of what's coming thanks to the early leaks, supply chain info and of course their previous releases. Given its predecessor's success we don't expect too much change in the design from the predecessor so the specs are estimated to be as follows. The inner display is likely to remain a similar size considering we've already got trimmed down bezels. We can expect a 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED display with a resolution of 1768 by 2208 and this will have a 120Hz refresh rate. The front screen is likely to remain the same as well which is a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED with a resolution of 2260 by 816. The biggest change here is of course going to be the screen protection with 60 micrometer ultra thin glass that not only helps with the durability but should also provide a nicer touch experience for the user. When it comes to the selfie camera we've got no information yet. Many reports and rumors are hinting at the first in display selfie camera but we've got no idea what sensor or lens Samsung are using for this. 
On the rear, it's likely to be a triple or a quad camera setup. Now, Samsung tend to keep things similar across their range, so I would expect the new camera module that we're seeing in the S range to be present, and it's likely that they'll be using the similar 12 megapixel sensors instead of going with the 108 megapixel HM2. When it comes to RAM and storage, Samsung tend to push things high with the Fold models, so I would estimate the Galaxy Z Fold 3 to have 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, and this will be coupled with 128, 256 or 512 storage. It's most likely going to be powered by the Snapdragon 875 Plus and the Exynos equivalent, whatever they decide to name it. And there are rumors of a 5000mAh battery, but personally, I don't see that happening. They're likely to remain at a similar size, so with improvements of space internally and new tech, I would estimate a minor increase, so maybe something like 4600mAh. It will of course ship with One UI 3 based on Android 11, and being so early on, color variants just cannot be confirmed. It will probably have as much water protection as they can, but we're unlikely to see any official IP ratings due to its difficult to waterproof design. We're expecting an August launch and if things carry on as normal, when it comes to the pricing, we of course know it's going to be a lot, so we can expect between $2,000 and $2,100 if we see the usual price increment. Now, of course, a lot of this is just sensible estimates on top of the leaks we have because we're so far away from launch, but I'll be keeping you guys up to date as any new news comes in. As always, though, I would like to know your thoughts in the comments. So who out there is waiting for the Galaxy Z Fold 3? And if not, then what phone are you waiting for? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up. If you didn't hit that thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.